My name is Sofia. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Uptim. We created Uptim to help mobile teams release high quality apps with confidence. And we are starting with a solution to measure and detect performance issues that affect user experience during development. Today, I'm going to show you two different use cases with Uptim. The first one is for those who need to get a detailed overview of app performance and be able to quickly troubleshoot specific user flows using their own devices. I'm going to show you how to do this with the local uh, profile of an iOS app with Uptim Desktop. The second use case is for those who need to run automated mobile performance validations in multiple devices and get alerts in a CI pipeline where certain performance KPIs are not met. I'm going to show you this demo with 700 devices using Uptim CLI, which is a tool that we recently released. Let's jump into the first use case. So I have Uptim Desktop installed in my Mac. We also have support for Windows and I have two devices connected. I have an Android emulator and I have an iPhone here. For this demo, I'm going to use the iPhone. So I'm going to be profiling an iOS app. Uptim is going to list all the apps that are already installed. I'm going to look for the app that we develop at Uptim for demos. And I'm going to put a name to my session. So right now, Tim is connecting to device and it's going to automatically start the app. Once the app starts, Uptim is uh, recording everything that uh, I'm going to be doing and my interaction with the app. You can see there that the app just started. This is an e-commerce app. So I'm going to do a very common user flow in this type of apps, which is looking for an item, adding it to a cart and then checking that it's added to the cart. Let's say I want to buy this MacBook Air. So I'm going to click here on Add to Cart. I want one MacBook Air. Okay. Um, actually, I prefer the MacBook Pro, which is a bit better, uh, more powerful. So I'm going to choose this one instead. And I'm going to go to my cart and remove the MacBook Air. I don't need it anymore. I can keep adding other items. Oh, it looks like the app crashed. I could keep adding adding items to the cart. That's it. I want this Samsung Galaxy as well. And uh, let's see, there well, should be added the other one. This is even a bug that I can also report with AppTeam that there is an error when the app crashed. I'm going to end my session now. So we can continue this demonstration. So right now, AppTeam is collecting and gathering uh, the data from the device and the app. And it's going to generate a mobile performance report of the session that I just uh, did. One thing important to uh, mention here is that AppTeam works with any app in the market. So you can download an app from the App Store and run AppTeam just as I did. There is no need to change the app code or install SDKs for AppTeam to work and to be able to capture this data. So the, re the session report is being generated. I can first open it locally or I can also publish it to my workspace in the cloud, which allows me to share with our team members. And also I can compare two different reports and see what are the difference in performance. I can do that in the cloud. I'm going to open this report now so I can show you um, how it, what it looks like. A link to this report is included in the description of this uh, video on YouTube, so you can access it. Uptim analyzes different areas that impact performance. We call this performance KPIs. And for each KPI, the developer can predefine a threshold. So you get alert, alerted. In this case, you can see that many of these KPIs um, got uh, alerts and warnings. There was actual, an actual crash uh, and an exception thrown by the app. We have a video uh, with everything that uh, I just did with the test and then also the graphs with, uh, you know, more powerful graphs with information that uh, shows you at each time of the test how these metrics were. You can also see uh, different events, you know, how long did I spend in the card view or, uh, for example, when I relaunched the app at what time it was um, and when I added an item to the car. So there's extra things that uh, Uptim allows you to do when analyzing these metrics. I'll leave the link in the description for you to uh, see in more detail. Now let's go to our second use case. This is generally developers or test automators that they um, want to do this in an automated fashion and also test on different devices. So for uh, this use case, we have Uptim CLI. This CLI tool can be run locally, which is what I'm going to do now for my Mac 
or it can be run from a, from a continuous integration server. Um, I have a config file here and I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to specify uh, which app I want to test. Uh, this is an Android app that I'm going to use in this case. Where are the test files for uh, this um, performance validation? Aptium supports different open source framework. Um, in this case, it's Appium test that we develop. So I can also specify which Appium version I'm going to be using, the time of the test and then the devices where I want to run this uh, performance test. I have different options on how to select the devices. Uh, in this scenario, I'm actually choosing um, the OSs where I want App Team to, to run my app. This is very important for mobile performance testing because differences in OSs affect the performance. So you want to make sure that you have a good coverage. In this case, I selected seven different Android versions. AppTeam has an integration with AWS Device Farm. So these tests are going to be run in AWS Device Farm Cloud, which has over 100 real devices. And our option, instead of selecting each device, um, I can actually define what is called a, a device pool with all the predefined devices. And I use that pool every time I run my test. So I'm going to go ahead and run the um, the CLI tool, which is device from run the command. And I'm going to use this config file, which is inside this folder and it's called Android test YAML. And that's it. So right now the uh, Optim is uploading, you know, the YAML files, APK, the test files uh, to AWS device farm. That's the integration we have today. And it's going to show me already, you know, seven devices were selected. So the test started running. And I can also access the test run live. So if I want to see the test running, I can uh, open this URL. Let's go to a browser. And this is device form. And you can see here that um, some devices were already selected and the tests are running. Others are uh, waiting uh, or the device, the test will start soon. And these are all the OSs that I selected and the different devices. I can also choose by device name. In this case, I prefer to just leave it by OS. This is going to take some time to run. So the result of this uh, test, it has the, the information for each device, um, but as well, it has a dashboard that ha shows you an overview of uh, the whole test. And you can see here also, we show what Android market coverage you had with the OSs you selected. And uh, you can click on any of these devices and get all the graphs with the performance KPIs. I already included this uh, report also in the description, so you can check it out uh, if you're interested in getting more details. Thank you for your time.